So, I'm gonna convert this into this. What is going on everyone? Derek Hudson here. And if you're new to my channel, um, I'm a professional bass fisherman by trade. I, I spent 16 years as a professional firefighter and left that job to become a professional fisherman. And for the past three years, that's what I've done for a living. But I'm also an at-home DIY guy. I do a lot of projects uh, on my own. My, my dad uh, at a young age taught me uh, how to build, how to how to do a lot of uh, jobs, odd and end. My stepdad also, my stepdad's a mechanic for 30 plus years. Uh, my dad, he built houses for a living um, in between jobs at one time. And I've got a lot of experience just doing DIY stuff. And if you haven't seen this, the Intex pool install video, um, it was a really good video for showing you some different little tricks of the trade, like um, we found out about these horse stall mats, which make a great base for the pool. Um, keeps weeds from coming up because it's a super thick barrier. Uh, good, smooth, uh, cushioned bottom for the pool. That install video, the Intex pool, um, got a lot of different things in it. Go check that out. That is a good video for anybody interested in getting a pool put in to beat that summer heat. Um, also had a sun sail put in. Gonna do a video on that. I haven't done that yet, um, but I'll do a quick video on uh, putting that in. Uh, not that hard a job, uh, but much needed to get some shade on the little babies. We got a, a seven, get ready to be seven month old and a nine year old. So that right there was much needed for this pool install. But today we are doing a stair step install. So right now we got the steps that came with the Intex pool. And they are sketchy, to say the least. Um, just, uh, they get the job done. And if it was just me and my wife, you know, we didn't have kids uh, hopping in and out of the pool, we probably would just rock with that because they're not that bad. But we want to do something better. And that's where this project comes in. I'm going to convert this into this. So you may be asking yourself, why are we going to convert this playset into a set of stairs? Well, it's pretty simple. This is not getting used. Um, it's seen better days. I mean, it's got nails starting to come out and um, our daughter hasn't used it much except she loves the swings. So I'm going to give her a nice swing set to replace it. Uh, one, I'm getting tired of cutting around it. I mean, it's a big, awkward piece of equipment in the middle of the yard. Got to cut around all the time. So I'm going to get that out. I'm going to put a streamline swing set that I can cut right up against to be a lot better for my daughter and me. Um, but also, it's going to save us a couple hundred dollars in lumber. I mean, this is still good lumber. The, you know, there's, there's a few pieces that I'm going to replace that have got cracked or warped. Um, but... I'm gonna pull those out, replace them. Um, but it's overall a good standing structure. So this is going to be our new pool stair set. And the tools that I'm gonna to use to get this job done, first of all, I got a big beam right here. Uh, you can see, let me get on the south side. You can see there's a plate, a metal plate right there holding the swing arm that has all the swings dropped down on it. Um, I'm actually gonna replace this beam with another four by six, but the plate's still in good condition. The arm that the beams come, um, the beams attached to is in good condition. The bolts are in good condition. I'm gonna chop that off and replace it. So the tools I'm gonna need for this job are going to be the old reciprocating saw, um, saws all, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this right here is going to chop that beam off and take out any other pieces of wood I need um, that are being stubborn. Uh, that thing can hack through some wood. Um, also gonna have a hammer to drive in the nails that are like right on the edge of just a little loose. 
Um, I'm going to use a hammer to get those put back in nice and snug. Um, any of them that are super loose or, you know, have backed out pretty good ways, I'm going to pull them and then I'm going to come back and put them uh, back in with some new screws, deck screws, premium deck screws. Uh, so I need a drill for that. And then um, I've got some for the, the bigger, like, uh, beams, like, the more structural stuff, not not decorative pieces of wood, but the more structural pieces of wood. I've got some heavier, uh, like, timber screws. So that's all I'm really going to need to get this frame back up and to get some, some few pieces uh, replaced. Um, then after I do that and get this basically back down to um, a bare bones uh, set of stairs, we're going to pressure wash it to get it all uniform and looking a lot better. And then we're gonna get it installed by the pool. Uh, I've got some uh, wood stringers for some stairs, a stair set on it. And then we're gonna attach that ladder that you saw that we uh, feel like we, you know, it's not very, not stable enough for us to have a lot of kids running in and out. Um, that's gonna be still our ladder, but it's gonna be attached to this and it's gonna be in more permanent frame set so that it can you can get in and out way better. So stick along. Uh, we're gonna show you the little things we're doing along the way. And just in case you wanna do the same thing, turn your old play set into a steps for your uh, swim pool. Check it out. So before we get started, I gotta change the blade on my Sawzall. So I wanna show you real quick how to do it, super simple. And a reciprocating saw saw style um, saw I feel like it's just like a lot of tools and even tools in fishing. So there are some tools that you don't need to have the best of the best. I feel like fishing rods and reels are the exact same as like the Sawzall. That you don't have to spend seven, eight, nine hundred dollars on a rod or a reel to get the job done. Um, there's a lot of great companies that are making great equipment that are a fraction of the price. And I'm sponsored by uh, Sticks Fishing. They make 130 regular, uh, $130 regular price rods that are a $200 plus dollar component rod, um, but only cost $130. And you can get them on sale down to 60, 70 bucks. And they are amazing rods. Um, wouldn't wouldn't train them for anything. They're just strong, sensitive, great rods. Um, so I don't need to spend a thousand dollars on a rod when I can get the job done with a a hundred and thirty dollar rod. And reels the same weight, in my opinion. That there are great reels that cost five, six, seven hundred dollars. Um, and if you got that kind of money to blow, by all means, go ahead. But I think you can get the job done with the cheaper reels. Um, I've done it in my career, my whole life. I mean, I've been fishing for 20 plus years. Uh, I don't see the need. I don't know how I can get the job done any better with a five, six, seven hundred dollar reel. Um, but there's something you do not skimp on when it comes to your rod and reel setup, and that is your line. Line, um, you can get away with cheaper line. You can, you can still catch fish with cheaper line, but I do not like to skimp on my line because you can lose those big fish on the, the structure you fishing around, docks, uh, barnacles, uh, grass, um, rocks. That stuff can break you off if you're not using the right line for the job. Um, that's why I fish Seaguar Tatsu. It's the best fluorocarbon line Seaguar makes. And that's why I fish it so much is because I believe in line as like one of the things you need to spend your money on. Um, this Sawzall is the exact same way. Sorry to get off on a tangent, but the Sawzall is the exact same way. The blade, you're not gonna cut very good if you don't have a blade. Like this, the Milwaukee, 
blades. I got a whole set of them. I mean, this is what we use as a fire service. This is the jam. So I could pro probably take this in my hand and get the job done. Um, just great blades uh, designed to cut well. And the tool is not your high end, super expensive tool. It's a cobalt, um, 24 volt max, uh, but it, I mean, it gets the job done. And that's, that's what I, that's what I wanted to get to, you know, to the, you, the viewers that if you're going to spend your money and you want to buy stuff that's going to get the job done really well, sometimes the little things like quality blades are more important than spending a lot of money on the tool. That's the point I wanted to get across because I, I've seen it time and time and time and time and time again. So um, if you can buy a mediocre reciprocating saw and throw a really good blade in it, you're gonna get a, a great cut. Um, and that's, that's just what I've learned throughout my year. So we're gonna change this blade out. I'm gonna show you real quick how to do that. Um, so all you do, and the reason I'm changing the blade out is because this is a metal cutting blade. This is uh, for cutting rebar. Um, that's what I had it in here for, for the uh, uh, retaining wall I put in, I put rebar in. So all you do is this got this big blue uh, lever right here. You pull it all the way out. You can see I pulled it all the way out and then your blade slips right on out. Really easy. Um, I'm gonna throw, show you what blade I'm gonna throw in here. So, to get that, uh, let me get a clean one so you can see it better. But to get that, this is called the ax. You can tell it's got bigger teeth. It's a wood bit, and, uh, wood bit. you can see it right there. Uh, for uh, cutting, I got one that's used already. But to cut that four by six, I'm gonna cut it off right there at that plate. And the reason I'm gonna do that is uh, I'm gonna replace that four by six. I got a brand new one sitting over there. I'm gonna replace it completely. And uh, we're probably gonna, it's gonna be by the pool. So we're probably gonna put like a, um, a round swing or something there. So it's, you can kind of sit there by the pool. Uh, so we want that being back in, uh, but I'm gonna replace it. And in the meantime, turn this some so you can see. So in the meantime, I'm going to cut it off right there at that plate. That way I can work on moving this and uh, structurally, for, you know, getting it straight um, to get it over there. But I will have that piece of wood still attached to the plate. And I'm going to use that piece of wood as a template for my new piece of wood that I'm going to put in. I can just take that piece, put it up against it, get the holes lined up perfect, boom, drill them out, put them in, be super simple. So that's what we're gonna do and we're, let's get it started. Well, there you have it it's cut off now we can get to work on the rest of the frame uh, all these nails that are where we can get the uh, claw behind it and prime out we're gonna take them out replace them with screws um, any of them that are like just barely backed out or are pretty flush we're gonna tap them one time make sure they, st they stay snug uh, and get it all secured and, and and back to a good sound structure
So as we're going around, uh, taking out nails and putting screws in and framing it back up, there's some pieces that we're gonna have to uh, get in closer uh, or replace or any of that. So um, for example, you can see up there, that top piece is kind of coming off, but that's not bad because we're gonna actually make this side our entrance for the stair step. So, um, I don't know if you can see it or not, but this end is going to be our stairs. What we're gonna do is, if you look at it structurally, this is one big wall of um, basically railing. It's one big railing panel. Um, so we're gonna take these this board completely off top and bottom it's fastened right here and right here right here right here we're going to take this off and what we're going to do is we're going to use this railing uh as our gate to our steps so um pretty cool um that we're gonna be able to do that and we'll salvage that and make that our gate uh it's because it's already a panel for perfect for a gate so um that's what we're gonna do and the piece up there we're gonna replace that and keep just going around and making sure everything's you know sturdy and and put back together best way we can so like i said this panel right here we're taking out it's going to be used as a gate and the only thing i can think of to really get this piece off saws all it right here um before i even get to taking this panel off that way i don't have this pulling the panel messing it up some way so chop that off take this piece out and then we can get the whole panel out as a gate. Now we got a gate. Hopefully you can hear me over the air conditioning unit, which is right there. But now we got that railing off. I noticed all of these nails right here are coming up some. Um, I'm gonna have to double check if they're coming up on the other side as well. Uh, looks like a lot of them are. Um, but what I'm gonna do here is pull most of these out, put screws back in. Same thing I've been doing, reinforce it all. Um, but this is where also where our stairs are gonna go. So we got this two by six right here. Uh, get back some so you can see better. This two by six right here. What I'm gonna do with the stairs, because uh, you want about each stair on a, a stair stringer is about seven inches a drop. So, this is about seven inches of drop. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to start my staircase right against this bottom. So the first step will come out and then it'll keep on going down. Um, but in that process, I'm also going to put behind that to attach the stairs to, I'm going to put a four by four right here. That'll give it some more structural support. Um, it'll be like another beam going across it. That way we can just keep this thing from falling on us and, and hurting any kiddos, but uh, just trying to make this as structurally sound as possible so we can go in and out of the pool and enjoy every minute.
So like I noticed over there, um, if I would have looked at the project a little harder, I would have known this before I put a few screws in here to hold this panel on. But I need to get in here and take all of these boards that the, the nails have come out of and re-screw re them down just like I did the other side. So do like I did before, I'm taking a few screws out, pop this panel off, and then put those nails with replaced with screws and be good to go. Yeah, that was much needed. I don't know if you can see it, my shadow's kind of in the way. But every one of these nails, <laughs> that one's got two nails. Um, every one of these nails is kind of backed out a little bit. So get them reinforced, be ready to go. I'm gonna reinforce all of these pickets on this railing with one screw in the middle since it's got nails in each one. None of the nails are backed out. So, I mean, it should be good, but I'm just gonna reinforce it right down the middle with one screw per, per board, top and bottom. Go ahead. Go ahead, Tom. Go ahead, Tom. See this. Wife was taking these nails out. She says she wanted to hit on some more stuff, beat, break on some more stuff. So, um, but look at this. For those of y'all that don't understand the beauty of family. Look at this. Look at what this girl did for us. Made us a nice little charcuterie board with drinks. This is a swing I just put in. Ugh. Look at that. Let's flip it around. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you, Dindo. Family is amazing.
All right, so progress update. Almost done with the frame. And then I've already started pressure washing some of it, you know, in between to get down in the cracks and stuff. But I wanna show you real quick what I did. So um, these boards on top had no support in the middle of them, none. And I mean, it's uh, several different ways you can brace underneath boards to give them support. But what I did is you can see it right there. I put two four by fours, 14 inches apart on center. And the reason I did that was to give some anchoring. You can see how I put one screw in there, put some anchoring um, of those boards in the center to keep them from moving, uh, lock it all down. But also, um, it's also going to be my ladder. The ladder in the pool, I measured it 14 inches, exactly 14 inches between the two poles. Um, I know if I got another ladder, that wouldn't help me much. Um, I don't think I'm gonna need another ladder. I'm gonna re repurpose the ladder we had. Um, I'll show you that, but that gives me a four by four to anchor to. And that's gonna be really awesome that I'm gonna be able to um, get a solid anchor underneath of this frame. Um, but I'm gonna put these boards back in. The ones, I had to replace two of them. The one on the end and the one on the other end. I had to replace them just because um, they had nails on the end on the this two by six right here. And when I went to pull them up, both of them started cracking on the ends. Uh, so I just replaced them. Um, but still, this is a lot. The, the four by four posts are repurposed. The framework two by sixes are repurposed. Uh, most of these decking boards are repurposed. Um, it's and the railings. So I've saved a lot of money in lumber by repurposing this. Uh, yes, it's it's not saving me any time. Um, if nothing else, it might be making the job a little bit a little bit harder. Uh, but it is saving me money, and that's you know any most DIY projects. That's what it's all about is saving yourself some money. Um, as long as you don't go through a severe headache and I waste a ton of time doing it, uh, it's worth it. So, almost done. I put these boards down, put those two railing pickets back up. Um, I had to take them down because on the end here, talk about that for a second. There was a, you can see it, it's a uh, soft, um, light spot right here. There was a four by, a two by four right here that was covering this bolt. Okay, and it was one on each side, and it was to hold up the decking board that was above it. Well, had to take that out to tighten these nuts up and to make sure that the framework was good. Well, when I did, this one didn't even have a nut. No locking nut on this one. This was completely loose. No wonder the, the bolt was like a half inch out. Um, but they put another bolt on there, I mean, nut on there, tighten that down. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to uh, put a different system. I'll put actually a four by four mounted into this. Um, and the reason I'm gonna do a four by four, uh, just cause it'll kind of match the heavy timber look. Um, but that's what I'm gonna do. Do another decking board right here, uh, you can see. I used six inch timber lock, um, heavy timber anchors to put those four by fours in. So they are not going anywhere. It's gonna be super sturdy. Uh, but then this is gonna be covered up with another four by four. So it's looking good, coming along, uh, almost structurally ready to move and then put a staircase on. And that'll be it. Well, staircase and a ladder and that'll be it. Let's keep going. Well, here we have it. We're on to the stair part of this project. Um, so we're doing our stairs 48 inches long and you need three string, I mean, four stringers for that. And I have assembled mine upside down uh, using the actual top to hold them. That way I could get it all even, you know, one, uh, one 16 inches, one 32 inches, another one 48. And 
took two steps already, put them in, and then the top. That way it's all one unit and I can, I'm gonna flip it around, mount it to the structure and be good to go to put the rest of the decking boards down. Look at that sunset. Wow. Stairs are in. Can I put the actual stair that goes into the water in place? And I'll finish up the railing another day, but I think this is a very good repurpose of an old, crusty playset. I can't believe I actually made this into something. I have to thank my wife. My wife had this idea. And I was like, I don't know about that. You know, that thing is in bad shape. But the wood was actually in pretty good shape. It just was molded and mildewed and looked bad. Um, and we saved a bunch of money. We saved several hundred dollars in lumber. So, thank you, wifey. Look at that sunset. It's always nice doing a good day work. Lord's favor on your day. And she is done. So this is the gate I repurposed out of the um, panel that was on this side, the um, railing that was on this side. Repurposed it down here. So we got a locking gate, keep the kiddos from accidentally getting in there. And this hardware that you get right here, it was a complete kit. Matching black lock, handle, and nice hinges for 25 bucks at Lowe's, which ain't bad. Made for gates. Gate opens up. You got your stairs. These are the railings I did. And there you have it. I think it turned out really good. My wife um, helped a lot with this. Uh, give her props. There she is in the pool. Thank you, wifey. You did a great job. Dendle, Dendle didn't do anything to help, but she was the tester. You always have to have a tester. So she's been jumping off. Oh, look, this is the, this is one of the things my wife helped with. So I showed y'all, I was going to put the piping in these fittings I bought from Lowe's, Steel Tech fittings. Um, they wouldn't fit. And it was, it felt like it was just a paint thing. Like I got the measurements right and it was just a little too snug and it wouldn't go in. So I told the wife about it and I said, I don't know if I'm gonna have to just sand the paint down or what. And she says, let me see it. Well, she comes out here, puts it in a hole, wiggle, 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 wears the paint off and boom, slides right in. Couldn't done without her. She saved the day, but we are loving it. Huh? I have not shown how to pull this up. All right, do it back up. So, because these are hinged, we can pull this up out of the way. And the purpose for that would be, um, I need to get uh, a setup to hold it down. Uh, I don't know if I'm just gonna do like a, a bungee cord hook to this wall back here to hold it, but I want it to be able to get out of the way so that we can run the vacuum um, across the floor and get every inch of it without that being in the way. We've noticed that uh, it's in the way most of the time. When you run the vacuum, you can see it, it hits it and it doesn't get underneath it. So that's one thing we're definitely gonna do, but it goes right back in the water. 
mounted securely. These right here are pretty cool. I mean, seven bucks. Seven bucks at Lowe's, powder coated, steel tech, uh, worked, worked for the Intex pool. That's a really cool find um, for you that are trying to put a ladder on your pool. Um, but no, this playset ended up being the perfect height. You can see that. Perfect height. I mean, <laughs> I don't know how it could have worked out any better. Got sunset in back air. Beautiful view as always. Pool is now ready. Last project we're gonna do to the pool is my wife had the bright idea of taking our um, post setup we have for the sun sail and I'm gonna put a table right there. Uh, I think I've shown y'all, let's see, I'll show y'all this. I think I've shown y'all this um, in another video. Might not have, might not have showed it yet. But this was the DIY table I did for right now. We've, we've used it a lot, sits drinks good, you know, it doesn't rock anything. Um, it's got a hanger for the rings, hanger for the sunglass, and then, um, um, she says she organized the rings. Yeah, I made it really But it's got a hanger for the uh, all our goggles, because when you get in the pool you, and you want it, you don't want to have to get back out to get it, so. Um, this little table has worked, it served its purpose, but I think my wife has a bright idea of putting a nice full length table over there. And then also up a little higher above the table, I'm probably gonna do the same thing I did right here, mount these hooks to hold the rings and to hold the goggles. So it'll all be on that side and it'll get this out of the way. Um, but it's turned out to be an amazing purchase. Half off on Amazon. We're loving every second of it. Dendal, what do you think about it? A 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Good way to beat the summer heat. I said 1,000 out of 10. Look at Daylin right there. Baby Daylin. <laughs> we have found out she's a pool baby. Because she will take a nap in a pool in a heartbeat. She loves it. Loves it. Never throws a fit in the pool. Never. never. She's she never thrown a fit in the pool. Nope. Right, but... There it is, completed steps. Still gotta clean up all the tools and see the truck back there, um, clean up all the tools. And I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with that, that piece right there, that post. Um, it's got a few splinters in it. So I'm half tempted just to chop it off uh, and just make it a straight cap. But I'm also thinking, I got some other options like a towel hanger or, you know, whatever different ideas but turned out great it's amazing. thank you all for tuning in please like and subscribe um if you've got any comments like uh stuff you liked about the video uh things you want to see more in depth like the sun cell mount anything um please drop those in the comments i read all the comments i reply to all the comments so um, the beauty of having a page is not super huge yet. I'm sure that when people get a million followers, it's hard for them to do that. So, um, but I'm, I'm able to get to them. So drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Thank you all for watching and God bless you all.